some people um, have a negative view towards it, and other people have actually sought me out and called me and said, um, and uh, they, they wanted to hire me. When I go into a little bit about my background, what I went through for the past two years, um, to inform them about um, my background, uh, they, in some cases, have said that's exactly why they're calling me, because they know that I know exactly what they're going through. And when you stand wrongly accused of a crime, one moment in a jail cell is too long. This guy's going to get some sort of lifetime achievement award at Court TV. His name is Gary Zarola, okay? He's a lawyer. That was an interview we were doing uh, as he was co-counsel in a trial that we were covering here on Court TV. One year after, he had been on trial for rape. Was found not guilty. Well, guess who's back on trial? Gary Zarola, a guy who is a, um, a lawyer. He was also one of People Magazine's most eligible bachelors back in 2002. Unbelievable stuff. Judge Ashley Wilcott has the story tonight. Criminal defense attorney Gary Zarola served as co-counsel in a 2009 trial covered by Court TV. Mr. Zarola could join in too since it's a defense request. Zarola was trying to rehabilitate his career after being acquitted of rape charges just a year earlier at the time. He blamed his troubles on hard parting and vowed to change his ways. No more playing hard. It's working hard and the rest I spend time with my family. Zarola enjoyed celebrity status in Boston. He was a former prosecutor, and in 2001, he was named one of People Magazine's most eligible bachelors, featured in glossy magazines like this one, and appeared on Judge Hatchett's show. But his career took a hit when the rape accusations started to pile up. I was, like, really scared. Like, he was, like, trying to like, take my dress off, and I kept, I was, like, crying. In 2008, he was tried and acquitted in cases involving two different women and a third charge in Miami that was dropped. Now, new rape accusations. An indictment issued in 2017 charges Zarola with two counts of rape for allegedly assaulting a woman in November of 2016. According to the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office in Boston, the alleged victim was friends with a woman that Zarola was dating. After a night of bar hopping, the woman went home intoxicated and woke up to find Zarola sexually assaulting her. Zarola was arrested and pleaded not guilty. While out on bond, he was again arrested and charged in 2021 with raping a woman under near identical circumstances. Again, he pleaded not guilty and is awaiting a separate trial on those charges. Back in 2009, Zarola said his past helped his career as a defense attorney. Some people have a negative view towards it, and other people have actually sought me out and called me and said, um, and uh, they, they wanted to hire me. They, in some cases, have said that's exactly why they're calling me, because they know that I know exactly what they're going through. Zarola's attorney, Joseph Krauske, called the allegations paper thin and says his client is being made a target. Unbelievable story, unbelievable developments. Uh, Jennifer Brandt, your thoughts? Well, Vinny, it sounds like this guy keeps doing the same thing over and over again, and maybe one of these days he will get caught. Sounds like they got him now. Uh, it's just, it's disturbing to know that this was, these allegations went back to, what, 2008, um, and he was acquitted, and it sounds like it just happens the same story over and over again. I don't know, unless a lot of people don't like him and are really after him, it sounds like uh, he he should be convicted in at least one of these uh, trials. It's terrible, terrible. Uh, Darnell, what's a bigger uh, fall from grace, being an attorney and a, and a prosecutor to an accused rapist or being one of people's most eligible bachelors along with Ben Affleck and George Clooney and then being accused uh, of being a, a, a serial rapist. So obviously he has a defense. If he's so eligible and he's uh, in all these magazines, why does he need to rape anybody? And then bang, they're banging out his doors and, um, and they're trying to seek an opportunity to uh, make themselves um, uh, more wealthy, I guess. Um, so uh, I think it, it is a fall from grace actually to fall off that magazine and now have these women make up these um, accusations. Um, you know, one would think that he'll build on that type of momentum and it's going the other way for some reason. Al, what's the most surprising part of this whole 
scenario that Gary Zarola has been through? He's still a lawyer. <laughs> he hasn't been disbarred. I mean, that to me is the most amazing part of this. But what year was he on, on uh, People Magazine, Most Eligible Bachelor? I think what it was about was 2002, then? I think. 2002? Okay. Uh, no, I wasn't in that issue. Um, 1979, though, Van, I did get the Goofus and Gallant Congeniality Award in Highlights Magazine, <laughs> which uh, was very exciting for me and uh, has led to a wonderful life of uh, being here on Court TV. Uh, let me ask you, Darnell, someone who has been successful as a criminal defendant and then returns to the courtroom, like one of your clients, right, that, that you, with the winning streak and all, um, do they become a little bit more confident? Yeah, I, I, I do think um, you, you do become a little bit more confident. But he made a very good point that a lot of his clients are probably uh, commiserating with them and saying, you know, you know what it's like to have police make things up against you. You know what it's like to be falsely accused. So, you know, uh, that's a good a story. That's something that people could relate to. Um, however, as Jennifer was alluding to, I always find this as the lightning strikes in, in the same place twice kind of cases. Um, yes, I commiserate with you. Yes, I connect with that breakdown. But it seems like you need to stay far, far away from uh, these bars or these women because it's starting to make people feel like, uh, are you overly confident that if you got away raped the first time, you can get away with it again? Um, so it's, it's, it's a very murky, murky waters. Yeah, yeah Jennifer Brandt, which part of this shocks you the most? Which part of it? The fact that, he, I mean, I agree with Al, that he's still a lawyer um, and that he's, he's actually promoting himself on the fact that, you know, he, he got, acquitted of this and he wasn't you know found guilty on any of these charges but yet he's still out there he's still partying he's still going on and doing the same kind of things so uh, i think that's pretty surprising um i think if he you know was a little bit more humble and said hey i'm gonna you know like darnell said stay away from everything um then maybe we could uh feel differently about him i'll give you the final word on gary zarola yeah. I, I, I think it's a, an absolute travesty that this guy is still practicing law. He should have been uh, thrown out of the bar after the, even though he was acquitted, it's still a lesser standard to be uh, disbarred. And I think he should have been looked at and thrown out at that point. It's a disgrace to our profession to see somebody like this. All right, take a look, folks. It all begins tomorrow. Massachusetts versus Gary Zarola on our docket. Opening statements tomorrow. Obviously, we will continue to give you all the big, big moments right here on Closing Arguments.